Hi, welcome to this video. In this video, it's not going to be just talk. I'm actually going to measure live the caffeine in a brewed cup of tea. So I've got a brewed cup of tea here. So I'll give you a bit of a background to this, and then I'm going to do a live measurement of the caffeine actually in that tea. There's plenty of videos online where they talk about the caffeine in tea. I don't think I've ever seen anyone actually measure it. Um, they're reporting numbers, but they're just essentially getting them off the um, web. But here we'll do a live demonstration. So as I say, I've got the hardware in front of me. Just to kind of say, you know, to say on expectations, you know, that if we brew tea, we may end up with um, in the range of something like 0.05 milligrams per gram to, you know, let's say approximately 0.2 milligrams per gram. But let's find out what we're actually going to get. Now, this is a very different kind of video because people talk about the caffeine in tea and maybe the caffeine in coffee and maybe the caffeine in energy drinks. And just FYI, I'm also going to do an energy drink um, at the end of this as well. Um, people talk about it. Nobody actually does any live demos. This is a, um, a live um, recording and I'm going to um, do, um, first of all, I'll discuss how I did it. So I took um, two and a half grams of tea and I suspended it in um, about eight fluid ounces, which is about um, 240 milliliters. I think it's strictly speaking. 238 milliliters um, of liquid or boiling water if I can call it that and in fact I can call it that so I've made a kind of essentially a tea suspension um, i.e. a cup of tea and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually going to sample it and um, measure it so let me just go to my camera here um, I've got the food sensation 4 in front of me it can measure um, caffeine there's other videos online where you'll see us measure caffeine per gram of tea leaf and you'll also find videos online where we measure caffeine per gram of coffee this is different because now we're going to be measuring the the caffeine actually in the beverage itself and once it's been you know sort of suspended and extracted um, the actual caffeine in the beverage itself so i've got a sensor in here i've got um let me just check the name i'm going to call it um brewed tea T2, I know these are these names just help me find the data later on. I'll call it T2 there. So that's going to help me track down this data um, in a bit. I will just, um, so that's in. I'm now going to prepare the sample for you um, essentially live. So get a, um, um, I'm going to take 100 microliters of the um, tea. So I've got one my 100 microliters of tea. I'll put a clean pipette tip on. I'm going to take 100 microliters of the buffer. Now you'll often, especially with um, tea leaves and coffee, you'll often see me using a vortex. So I do have the vortex here, but when you've got these essentially two liquids, I don't really, I mean, I could just essentially shake that up. I just want to show you the buffer before I jump ahead. So this is the buffer, it comes with the kit, nothing super special. You can see that, in fact, I only use 100 microliters of that. There's 500 milliliters in there, 500 milliliters, and I use 100 microliters. Um, I've got the sensor in there. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna add 50 microliters of that sample to that sensor, then I'll press go and essentially off we go. So here it goes. 50 microliters. And then I'll hit, I'll hit the continue, which I'll do, start measurement. And it's gathering the data as we speak. So that will gather the data, it'll do the analysis, and then I'll get the result for how many milligrams per gram is, not so much in the tea leaf, is in the drink after the tea leaves have been extracted in the boiling, um, what was boiling water. So I'll get a result and I got a result of 0.173. So 0.173. Um, I'm just gonna go back. Um, yeah, in fact, I will share my screen for a second because I just wanna go back to where we were. So let's um, share the screen here. Um, so we got 0.173, which is, you know, puts us up here um, among the T's here. So it's, you know, it's in this, range we've got 0.15 milligrams per gram to 0.2 milligrams per gram i'll put this data underneath um sorry i'll put a link to it underneath the video so you can actually find this data as well 
what I want to do now is just also, I'm just going to stop sharing just for a second because um, all the data actually goes to a cloud system called um, Julie. So it, it says on my phone, um, it says it says the result, but it also says um, upload complete. And this is the really, let's say, cool thing about um, this system that if I just do a quick refresh here, um, it'll go and um, pull across um, all the data that I've been um, gathering and then I can see Brute TT2. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. So this is why I really like it because in fact, we can come in. In fact, we can see a nice um, caffeine peak here. We can see the analysis of it here. We can see um, the results. So I can, I can tell from this data, I've got the result, I've got the raw signal, I've got the time, the date and the operator. So if somebody's like a, basically a, a, the QC manager um, or the quality control manager for this you know, particular company, for example, they can get hold of, you know, they can have a report. I mean, you can also just interrogate the database as well, but the, the results are there. So this is what's nice about it is that you can get a result um, there and then on your phone. And that's super simple for like, you know, an operator to just, you know, test, if I can say that, get a result, put that, write that down into the records. But at the same time, then we also have this kind of um, traceability with all the data um, going up to the cloud, including the operator who did it, etc. Now, what I want to do then is just to kind of give you a sense of um, the caffeine in a cup of tea versus, um, let's say, caffeine in an energy drink as well. So what I'll do is I'm just going to change cameras just for one second. Um, I've got some Red Bull here. Um, I'll just put a bit more in here. Right, so Red Bull into the um, sample. I'm going to get some clean pipette tips because I want to... Um, same procedure. So the same procedure as before. I will grab the Red Bull. All right, so that's 100 microliters of Red Bull. By the way, the software is calculating for this dilution. By the way, you don't have to do these calculations. It's all taken care of in the software. 100 microliters of buffer. In it goes. So. Again, I don't need my Vortexer because, you know, these are two miscible liquids. Quick shake up. I'll just put it there for a, sound, for a second. I'm just going to make sure that I can find this data later on. So I'll call it um, Red Bull um, 3. Just a random name. Just helps me sort of trace it in a bit. Right. Then I'll put a clean sensor on. So take the sensor out. I'll grab a clean sensor, I'll put it in there, snap shut. I want to put 50 microliters of that sample onto the um, sensor, which I will do. So flick this open, grab my 50 microliters. Done. Um, go continue, start measurement and off it goes so i'm just doing this just to kind of compare so i think we got about 0 0.17 in fact i've got it written down uh, not written down it's saved up in the cloud so for that t we got 0 0.173 um, milligrams per gram um let's see what we get for the red bull and there we get it's up it's perfect it's 0 0.313 now if you look up red bull Let's have a quick look. It's going to be hard. No, no, I see it. On the side of this can, it's very shiny. And I will try and, um, I can absolutely promise you that it says, yeah, I can see it. I can see it here. Um, something like 0.03% of caffeine in this can. So there's 0.03%, which actually translates to 0.313 milligrams per gram Oh, sorry, 0 0.03 milligrams per gram. So we're, we're basically giving the same result as on the can. Now, the reason I bring that up then is because now you get a strong sense of, um, in fact, we can look at the data rather than talk about the data. So let's look at the data. So I'll go to screen two. So let's remember this. So the T was 0 0.173. I can see it in the raw signal. I can, you know, time and date is all saved up. 
Let's go out to here and have a quick look and have a look at the Red Bull data. There's Red Bull. Let's come up. And we've got 0.313 milligrams per gram. So effectively, Red Bull is approximately, um, approximately, if I said two times as much, um, 170 times two is about 340. So it's it's not quite twice as um it's not quite twice as um strong in terms of caffeine as a cup of tea but it's you know it's approximately that it's about one and a half to two times as strong as a cup of tea so um i suppose in summary i could give it a, a, a quick summary so in summary we were expecting tea in the range you know 0.15 to about 0.2 we came in at 0.173. I described that I actually made the tea in a very traditional kind of manner, about two and a half grams into eight fluid ounces, 250, sorry, 240 milliliters approximately. I brewed that. I then tested um, the tea. Again, we got 0.173 milligrams per gram. Um, and I also, sorry, tested um, Red Bull as well. And with the Red Bull, um, we got, um, 0.313 milligrams per gram. And if you look at the side of the can, it says um, caffeine 0.03%. And that's the same, different units, but it is actually the same um, concentration. So I think I want to say that if you have any questions regarding the detection of caffeine in beverages, um, please don't hesitate to contact us at um, Food Sense. Okay, thanks very much.